For this activity, we're going to make a bird balance on the tip of your finger. For this, you're going to need a printout of the bird, and I have that in the description of this video. Uh, we need a little bit of card, in this case it's a cereal box. Uh, you're going to need some colours, because we're going to colour it up. A little bit of sellotape, uh, scissors, and uh, some glue. So I have um, glued the design to the paper. Uh, and then I have uh, cut it out. Uh, now the only problem with this is, is that, that uh, some students might need a help uh, with cutting out this section. There's a little channel between A, where it says A there, and the bird itself. That little channel can be a bit tricky to cut out, so you might need to help them. Now we have the shape uh, cut out. What we're going to do is um, we need to add weight to the ends of the wings. And to add weight in this situation, rather than um, putting on coins or paper clips like we did with the balancing clown, uh, the balancing clown, um, I'll put it into the description. That's another video if you wanted to watch that. Um, so to add the weight here, what we're going to do is we're just going to put extra folds. Uh, we're going to fold these pieces of paper down. So it's uh, A goes um, behind B and B then falls underneath the wing, and then C falls on top. And you're going to need a small bit of tape just to tape that together. And we do the same on this side. It doesn't really matter if, if you want to go in the opposite direction, it doesn't matter if you want to put C under first. It doesn't really make much difference. So, put in there, and then C then covers a lot. Now, before we put um, sellotape on, just before we put the sellotape on, so these two in sections, you might want to colour it up because if you um, put the sellotape on, you won't be able to colour the ends of the wings. As you can see, I've just coloured it. Now, that's the bird completed. To get it to balance, what you need to do is just put your finger here and see if the, balance, the bird will balance. And as you can see, it doesn't really. It kind of tips over. To make it balance better on your finger, uh, what you need to do is lower the wings a little bit and then put it on your finger and you'll see that it will balance even if you do it this way it'll balance and as you move the bird um it'll even shake over and back uh, the bird won't fall off your finger now the reason for this is because what we've done is because we've now got extra weight at the tip of its wings there's now four folds of paper the bird itself and then the a b and c there's four folds of paper on either side of the wings uh, that gives a lot of weight to um, the, the ends of the wings, and that lowers the center of mass so that um, the center of mass of the bird is actually below your finger. So as you move it, it will balance that way.